yes, we are back. Back again in Train Sim Classic. Back again to do some more of the, the, the Train Sim. It's in the title and everything. And this time in France, where last time it went so well, I've come back to do more. Uh, on a route that I've not done before, uh, the uh, the LGV Rhone to Alps and Mediterranean, which I spelt completely wrong. Someone needs to have words about that. It's almost like it's in a different language and everything. Uh, which, as I'm streaming this, uh, is free to play. By the time this goes on YouTube, if this goes on YouTube, it isn't. So that's a thing. Uh, there'll be links in the doobly-doo below to where you can go and have a look at it anyway. Uh, there'll be a link down there to a Twitchy page where you can watch me do this stuff live. Because apparently it is. Uh, there's also a link down there to the Discord server no one likes. Uh, but I don't care about that because that's going soon. Anyway. Um, uh, yes, going to start here in uh, in Lyon. Uh, going to make our way to uh, Avignon. See, I can speak French. Uh, we'll open the doors first. Um, because that's the passengers get on when you open the doors. That's that's a noise. I've got no idea how to drive the whole the train thing uh, because it's got a hold thing, and I've done the forward type thing. Uh, and inside the thing, we've got well, there's there's all sorts of there's lights over here that are scary, um, and uh, this is going to go well. Um, so yeah, what's that's oh, wait, I've got it. 102 of the the kilometers now to the the next stoppy type place. Um, let's release the whole the releasey thing until the things do the releasey. Um, that looks like that that's that's done a thing. Oh, we're moving. There's movement. There, there's movement. Have we got a? Oh, there is an internal thing. That's quite um, little lights on the table and everything. Okay, so 106 of the of the things, but before we get to the the place, let's give it uh, more of the beans. Hopefully, the well the French signalling system just well everything confuses me basically. Um, so we'll see what happens. I used to sat in the middle of the train and not sat on the wrong side of the train because that would be really annoying. Not as annoying as standing on a piece of Lego in the middle of the night. That's really annoying. Um, okay. That's, uh, that's, that's definitely horny. Sorry, I didn't understand that. Thank you. I, I said it was horny. Did you not understand? Horn okay. I hear if you go forward, eventually you get somewhere. Well, you, you get away from the place where you were. So I suppose y you do get somewhere. Or an upturn plug. Eaten on about a 55 second delay there. Um, she doesn't like that I'm horny. No, this is true. Sorry, Alexa, you don't do it for me. Right, so we got 101 of the uh, the things to the place with the thing. So we might release the brakes. That's something. I thought it was going to be one of those that's to be complicated. Hopefully we're on the uh, the one type of power all the way there. Because otherwise I will get really confused. Which doesn't take much at all. So an 80, then a 60. Well, what's the point of speeding up to the 80 when there's just a 60 after it? But there isn't really, is there? We may as well just not do the, the speedy up thing. Because then we've got to do the slowing down thing. And that's just wasting electricity. And the brakes, the, the brakes, of the pads, the things. Not like shoulder pads, brake pads. You can't use shoulder pads as brake pads because they wear out really quickly. Hopefully we do actually get to be a decent high type speed thing on this, you know, thing. Route. Oh, I said I wasn't going to speed up. I nearly sped up. on I want to I want a really high type speed it's a long thing isn't it for the for the for the engine thing electric motors that's the one it's quite it's quite long what's not the, the the engine place I don't know what the maximum speed is it's a thing we'll find out I'm guessing oh we got a hundred of the limits coming up Feels weird to be doing Railway Wednesday again. 
because I did farming Tuesday. I didn't work. Tractor Tuesday. I did Tractor Tuesday yesterday uh, be, uh, because I did uh, the railway Wednesday. Tomorrow is farming Thursday. Uh, Friday night faffing about on a racetrack Friday. It doesn't quite work, does it? Um, I very much doubt they'll be trucking on Saturday because there's only like three of us. Um, so there'll be something Saturday. Uh, right, 100 limit. Then a uh, the, the the speed limit that's higher than 100. We've got an extra... T oh, we got a, a 120. Why are you waiting so long to do the speeding up? Why can't we do the speeding up in the in the lesser amount of time spaced continuum thing? Uh, free France trains, indeed. It does seem as though you know I'm just like idling. Oh, hang on, this hasn't got a. Can I actually use the motors to slow down? Yeah, I can. That's good. Rather than just use the brakes. Yeah, 500 kilometers an hour. Right. Which is about, you know, no one knows exactly how fast that is. It could be three miles an hour. No one understands kilometers. We have the proper measuring system of distance over time and the thing and the what's it and the dubri thing. Come on, right. 100 kilometers an hour is roughly 62 miles an hour. Roughly. Come on, we want faster than... Oh, we got a 130. Okay. So I wonder what the fastest speed... I'm actually intrigued by this now to see how, how much of the fastness we can actually do on this line. Eight kilometers an hour and five miles an hour. What a weird way of doing it. You are quite strange, Crispy. Uh, oh, go up to 160. Well, Ethan is on a trial period as a mod. He's on a three-month trial. You know, Crispy's had his mod status um, taken away from him before. That ended well. Right, so 130, then a 160. I wonder if we're going to get any faster than that. I'm only on minus 89 points as well, so that's going quite well for me. Uh, no, you can't time him out anymore. It's only me that can time him out now. If I do that, he loses his mod status. If I did that, I'd have to change my mobile phone number. Do you have a mod for the mods? And then do you have a mod for the mod who mods the mods? I mod the mods. Well, there's only like... Two of the mods, maybe, that watch more than probably three streams a week. Who mod Steve? Uh, Larwood. Right, that's 160. Have they fixed the thing yet? No. Come on. 
yes, this isn't a democracy. No, Larwood's the one that keeps me sane. Well, I think I, I need to buy him some flowers and chocolates because I've sort of been uh, um, neglecting him the last few weeks. Right, so we've got 90 kilometres until uh, Valence or Valence. I have been neglecting Larwood. And that's never a good thing. So yeah, we're only stopping at... Uh, well, we're going to Valence. Valence. Uh, going via Bonlu rubion south. And then picking up passengers at Avignon. And this is... I was going to do like a 90-minute scenario. But I thought, oh, no, this is an hour one. This would be all right. And I realised there wasn't many stops. So it's just going to be an hour of me just driving at 160 kilometres an hour. So you lot better entertain me. No. Can you please stop coming into every single stream asking me to do various train sim routes? If room starts slowly disappearing in Discord, you might know why. Well, I am. there's going to be a thing happening there. Watch this space. It's definitely a bit... It's a bit of a naff horn, isn't it? And I want to go faster. Why let me go faster? What's 160 then in thingy logic? It's not very fast, is it? 99 miles an hour. 400, yeah. That's, that's pretty slow, really, isn't it? For a, you know, a pointy, high-speed you know, thingy, pointy thing, you know, thing that's pointy, it's, we know, you know, we want, to, we want to go quicker than this. Exactly, and it's not about the sound your horn makes. Or the, the length of your thing. That's fast for a train in America, that's nothing. If this is all we do, are we actually on time? No, we're currently going to arrive three minutes late as well. And I wasn't actually there much before the start of the stream. How fast is Sir Nigel? Wow, is this someone Crispy hasn't told us about? I know it's the steam train. I'm the only one here. Oh, hang on, we got 220 coming up. Okay, this is a bit more like it now. Okay. Come on, we still want faster than that, though. Uh, hi, Sim Hub. What's the, the, the southeastern high speed thing? That goes quicker than that, doesn't it? Oh, hang on. Oh, we got 300. Okay. Now I'm interested. Now I'm interested. I rounded wings. Yeah, I've had over a hundred out of the uh, the mighty Mondeo. Oh no, 
a private road, obviously. Not on a public highway. Would never do that. Oh, well, one, why are you now beeping at me 160? What? Two, what's the... Okay. It was on a, a private road. Power. Three hundred. It's actually picking up speed quite well. Okay, this route just got a lot more interesting. I'm going to do the um, the one on uh, Train Sim World 3 this weekend as well. I'm actually going to have to back off now. Holy crap. Yeah, you have got a sense it would go a lot quicker. And I'm going uphill. That, that, that's, that's pretty fast. That's definitely pretty fast. Well, and I wanted to do this route tonight because it's currently free to play. Oh yeah, fastest thing uh, on the motorway back in the 90s was an Astromax van. Then the Mercedes Sprinter vans took over. Mesh on a Friday afternoon heading north. Well, yes, it's worth getting, even if you're not going to use it that much. Transit van is king. Transit. Especially as America only recently got the transits. Now they love them. Yeah, that's definitely pretty quick. Oh, I wish they'd fix that. Yeah, America's only the last few years got the transit. They've had the transit connect for a while, uh, but only just got the transit when Ford made it a global vehicle. Before that, they had the E-Series, was it? No, I don't think it's been that long. No, you've had the Mini for years, Ethan. It's the biggest market for Mini is America. Right, so we've got 58 kilometres. What's the smaller transit but not the smallest one called? The, the, the Custom. Right, Dinan, if you ask again, you'll be timed out. Oh yeah, Americans have had the Sprinter for ages as well. Yeah, this is definitely quite rapid. Tunnel, I see tunnel.
in every sprinter I've driven as well has had a stupidly short first gear that gets you to like five miles an hour it's ridiculous I'm not a fan of the sprinters we run transits at work a whole fleet of them I do like a transit Yeah, it's definitely uh, a rapid though. I still prefer a diesel in the UK, but... This is different. I haven't got caught out by the signalling system yet. I'm sure that will come. Oh God, I'll do a slow down thing. I remember to actually use the brakes when I come to stop as well, rather than just use the motors. Have you driven an electric car? No. I've driven a, a hybrid. I've never driven a full electric car. That was the uh, Suzuki Super, Car uh, Super Carry, which is basically the same as the Bedford Rascal. Same vehicle. See, I'm not as stupid as Crispy looks. Now, I've got to say, and I'm going to be honest, because I, I always am with my reviews of this. Um, free, yes, equals good. For me, th this is the same for me as the Faversham High Speed. Already, I'm like, okay, enough now. It's just going quickly on a relatively straight track for a long period of time. You're not really doing a lot, are you? <clears throat> I don't think there's any scenarios where there are more stops because it is just basically this one high-speed line. Um, said I was going to do the one that was 90 minutes. Yeah, you're covering ground, so it's not that long to get to the stop especially as in an hour scenario we're only stopping once in the middle basically all you can do is abuse me I'm open to that form a queue yeah see you Hawkland <laughs> Any time, Derek. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. I'm actually warming towards. Um, I'll say towards warming. No, I can't do words. I'm starting to like electric trains more. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Um, but electric commuter stuff. I'm not a, a freight fan, and this is say as interesting as it is. I think this is something that you would do once, but basically, and it's not available in um, uh, thingy mode. The routes are only in career mode, so you couldn't even just do it in thingy mode because that's what it's called, um, and just go flat out and ignore the minus points. Oh, yeah, I'm totally with you there, Crispy. Yeah, Barry Island. A short little diesel run. 
Um, with lots of stops. That's that's me. Tick. Done. Well, I can't wait to do the um, the the line we weren't we were going to do. We didn't get any time. We did one of them on Saturday. I think Crispy's like me. He's happy uh, chugging up and down in a little old diesel. Right, 25 kilometres to go. So, yeah, we are covering the ground rapidly. You know, there is that. You know, if you're actually travelling between these two places, then, yeah, you want it to be uh, quick, don't you? Uh, well, Crispy. Yes, and I'm going to be doing that at the weekend. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I'm not... Yeah, I'm not doing the the thing on, um, on Saturday this week. There'll be no trains in World 3 on Saturday because I'm doing a thing. Um, but there will be on Sunday, so I will be doing the uh, the France route on Sunday in Trains in World Three. So I'm only doing this tonight instead of last night because we did uh, farming last night, uh, which is back tomorrow. More of the farming tomorrow. Yeah, I might actually take a sneaky dash down to Cardiff in a few weeks' time. I might just drive there and uh, jump on Anne train. The train called Anne. I don't know at what point I'm going to start slowing this thing down. I'm starting to panic already because we're 15k out, which could be a mile. It could be like 400 miles. I do. I, I name my trains now, and the train. So I am guessing we're going to come to a reduced speedy bit. Will it? Will it talk to me? If it speaks to me in French, I don't have a clue what it's going on about. No one understands the numbers in French. The whole units, then the single units, things. No one gets that. I suppose it would tell me also on this digital display thing up here. Which would be a lot easier than understanding than the whole train speaking to me in French. Because I'd have to, you know, learn French. beeping there's beeping it beeped it's flashing at me now slowly in 270 okay we can do that
I use the motors to slow me down initially. I use the brakes when I can. Got only 4k out. Panic! Panic! I panicked, I applied the brakes. Oh god, I don't like these brakes. Why can't they give me proper brakes? That, you know, just go on and then stay on. Why have they got brakes that's just all the brakes? Get the Kit Kat. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. I'm going to Kit Kat, so that'd be difficult. Releasing. Re release. Releasing. Releasing. Right. We are arriving at Valence. Val Valence. The flick place. There's a big dark. But the pressure's here on my little uppy downy thing. A now C, A now C. That's I missed out of there the alphabet there. Even for me, I've got to say that probably wasn't bad. I passed the signal. I don't care about that. No, because it says I'm I'm only uh, no I haven't. I haven't. Well, that there. Well, why? It still says I got point one of a, a, a thingy what's it Dubri Firkin to go. See? Oh, the alphabet. Uh, I, I, according to this, I haven't stopped where I should be stopping. Stupid French train. Okay. Go via Bonlu Rubion South. Okay, we'll do the release seat thing. The releasey thing. The releasey thing. We do, do the release. Oh, there we go. F finally, do the releasey thing. There we go. Right, we should be able to go full on. Oh, we didn't like that. Right, so we got a three hundred. So we should be able to go full on beans. It's not bad acceleration. Slightly better than a 166. I can't do the words today. Words are not an easy thing. I'm tired today. That's probably why. Even though I went to bed at half past nine last night. Okay, straight to 300. 44k to uh, go via. And then it's stop in 100. So we, we, okay. So we're now all the way flat out, I should imagine, pretty much some of the speeds to 128 of the distances. Not the most exciting of routes, I've, I've got to be honest. But we'll, we'll see what happens when we get the other end of here and try another one. 
Well, I'm guessing there ought to be variations of this train thing. You know, this thing with, you know, this, this train and this line. Oh crap, speeding. <laughs> I was just enjoying the acceleration. We could, you know, because we, we, we could. Should we? I think we should. Shouldn't we? I think we have to really, don't we? Yeah, let's do it. Power. Let's see what this thing can do. Oh. Okay, it got to 318. It put the brakes on. Damn you. You scumbag train. You utter scumbag train. Oh, that's just not fair. I got to the whole stoppy thing now. Okay, well, we, we, we test out the brakes. That, that'll be a thing. Right, we know then, don't try and go flat out. Okay. I'm guessing I've got to put that back in neutral. Uh, why are you not releasing? Okay. Oh, there we go. Right, we'll try that again. Right, don't exceed 300 is the rule there. Right. Yeah, this time, do not attempt to do the going at the flat out with the going flat out thing. What's that? Four people maximum in the cab. Okay. Oh, reset track IR. Thank you. Are there seats for four? No. There's seats for one. So, standing room only. Right, back to 300. Avanti.
Avanti in French. I really can't get my head. There we go. My head's not working this evening. Moving. There we are. Just, no. I, it's track I are. If I sit comfortably, my head's at a slight angle because I'm not sat. I'm not sat directly forward because my back's aching. Um, so my head's. I, I'm basically. I'm. I'm. I'm broken. Right now, do the slowing down thing. Don't speed. So we got 25 kilometers to go to our go via, and then it was 118 kilometers to go to our final stoppy type place. It's down to old age. Uh-huh. I'm only 24. Oi, sod off. I was nice to you earlier. <coughs> Tunnel. Looks quite tunneling. And you're supposed to be nice to me. That's how it works. Yes. Are the hang on uh, the the high speed ones the Tokyo things uh, are they this sort of distance apart from the stations? I've only ever done them a couple of times, but I'm sure it wasn't this sort of length between stops. Uh, and hello. This does seem quite a way. We'll have a look at the, the end, at the total distance we've covered. Because we had a start station, end station, and one in the middle. So it's probably going to be a good 150 kilometres. So 100 miles with one stop in the middle. That's a long way to go. Uh because I'm not doing train sim world this evening. See, if I was, then it's always interesting and random. I'm waiting to do train sim world on Sunday this week. Tomorrow night, farming. Did it crispy give me that hug in Cardiff? No, I'm still distraught by that. I did put my arm around him. I did, when you got off the train. I congratulated you on the whole, you know, events over the last couple of weeks and put my arm around you. What about the Ethan hug? God no, no one wants to go near Ethan. Uh, hi Sparky. Well, he did fall asleep on the train back from uh, from Weymouth and ended up with his head on my shoulder. So I was like, I just couldn't move. Yes, you should have probably remembered that, Crispy.
Um, yeah, I would have done it anyway because I would have. Well, I actually got it because I'm a dovetail ambassador. I got it anyway, which I still can't understand why because it's free. But I think because I could have done content on it uh, before it was free. But yeah, I I was going to do it tonight. There hasn't really been anything. In, the last few Train Sim Classic routes that have come out haven't been anything fantastic. Um, those flipping, that awful um, uh, American one, which was dire, um, I will never do that again. I, uh, that was the plan, but I was away this weekend, so couldn't. Minus 2,866 points. Yay, go me. You want a Swedish route for Train Sim Classic or Train Sim World? Um, is there nothing up as far as Sweden? I don't think there is, actually. No, I think some of those routes, even sort of Denmark, Sweden, uh, could actually be quite interesting. Thing is, they do their routes mainly where their market is. So it's a big German market for Train Sim World and Train Sim Classic, a uh, big UK market, uh, a bit of France, and uh, see America is becoming quite big for them. Uh, and now they're part of the uh, uh, the the group, the name, the people, place. I can't think. Focus, uh, which is French. Um, then I think we'll see more French stuff. Yeah, I don't know. It's only been recently that I've I've seen uh, some really poor new releases. Um, I've been doing well streaming Train Sim Classic for the last blimey six years, um, and there are some really good routes out there. This, yeah, it's good. Not the thing that really you know ticks all the boxes for me, but it's good. It's just a lot of time spent going really quickly. Um, yeah, and it's something that you, you know you probably would just jump on. I think I'd be more interested um, in doing this in something like diesel, as odd as it sounds. And if there's a way of being able to stop at or oh, I haven't seen any other intermediate stations so you can't even do a stopping service because it is just this high speed run isn't it Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's interesting, but how many times would you actually do it? Oh, it is pure design for speed. And in reality, yeah, I get that. I don't know why they've... I think there are better lines that they could have put their resources into. Yeah, um, someone said that earlier. I'm, I'm not a fan of the high speed bit of southeastern high speed, but I do like the uh, the extra bits, the, the stoppy bits. Yeah, well, someone that covered it, didn't it? We don't give him any credit. He's sorted off now. It's probably bath time. Well, I think the problem is with, with well with any uh, sim game, you've got to. I don't think you'll ever be able to look at it and want or expect um, high amounts of detail. Um, I think it's it's really tough to get that balance between the enjoyment and the realism. You know, if they focused on too much realism, I think it'd take the enjoyment away. 
So you've got to give them a little bit of creative license with some things. Uh, the one thing I do wish that Dovetail would do with Train Sim World is, and I've said this before if you've been around a while, is we don't, we're not interested in repairing fences, filling up bloody fire extinguishers, picking up litter, putting up posters. No, no, it's Train Sim. We want to drive trains. That's why we're doing it. Get rid of that. Put, put that stuff into more detail. I hate to say it as well, um, but you know what I'd be happy with in Train Sim World? Is take out the free roam. If it just shoved me in a cab, um, I'd be happy with that. Uh, yeah. Well, we said, you know, um, about multiplayer. Uh, it will come. It, it is on their long-term plan. I don't think um, we'll see it until at least Trains in World 5. But, you know, multiplayer would be uh, awesome. Yeah, we said this before, Sparky, because that's probably one of the only stations where... You've got two different routes sharing one station with Brighton. So, again, detracting from my comment about taking away the free roam, to be able to get out of a service that you've just driven down from London at Brighton, then get in a, a service that's sat at Brighton Station and take that along the East Coastway, uh, I think will be brilliant. And I think there are, you know if there were like hubs like that where you um, you could have multiple lines converging in one place I don't know take Reading as an example you could if you have Reading as a hub you could go from Reading into London you can go from Reading south north or west so multiple lines coming in and out of one station um, or like your Birmingham New Street or Manchester or Bristol Parkway or Bristol Park or Bristol Temple Meads. Uh, hubs like that where you could just be in the station and then hop onto any service that's there, take control and off you go. I don't mind going backwards and forwards, you know. Um, London Commuter, I quite like just going up and down that. Using different trains makes it more interesting for me. But, yeah, I just think having that extra variety. Oh, we need more tube lines in this. We definitely need more tube lines in this. The thing is, there's so much that people want. You know, uh, the, um, uh, the purple line, the Elizabeth line. Uh, I think that would be would work really well in um, well sorry train sim world rather than this. Yeah, I've got to say it. You know, the, the, the detail in this, very good. Uh, it's running really well. It's quite well optimized. Uh, oh, train detail, a bit meh. Route detail looks quite good. Uh, that's the problem, Crispy. And it must be hard running two uh, very established titles currently with Train Sim Classic and Train Sim World to please both markets. Uh, you know, as we can see with the poor quality stuff that's come out for Train Sim Classic recently, it almost just feels as though they're just chucking something out there to keep people happy. I think it's having the reverse effect. Um, it's been a while since I've been disappointed with a Train Sim World DLC, if I'm honest. Even the freight stuff that doesn't really appeal to me um, has been really well done. 
I'm certainly interested to see what comes next. Okay, so we've got 37 kilometers to our end destination. And then we will do another scenario. I think it's just this one train and this one route. Uh, so we'll see what we can do. Yeah, running at 300 kilometers an hour does get uh, a bit, we'll say numbing is the word, but you sort of get used to it, don't you? It almost doesn't feel as though we're doing the speed that we are because we're sort of used to it. So 50 kilometers. Yeah, so the Japan high speed, yeah, a bit less. Because this has been a hell of a thrash, isn't it? A 118 kilometer thrash between stations, which is a long time. Do you like 40 minutes or 30 minutes just flat out? And yeah, it could be McBone. Thing is lockdown was one of those things wasn't it you know, everyone was sat at home wanting to game uh i found a lot of the well people new to the community over the lockdown period um and some really awesome people that i've become very close to um but the problem is the games companies people were also at home so as much as they wanted to do stuff for the people at home they were also at home so it's it's one of those things, wouldn't it? It's like we we we, we need people need things to, to entertain themselves, but they can't because the people that need to create the things to entertain the people that are entertaining are also at home needing to be entertained. That makes sense, doesn't it? Probably not. Oh yeah, and if I was travelling across the country, I'd want it to be non-stop. I'd want to get there as quickly as I could. Um, when I'm actually on a train, I'd rather not be on a stopping service. Because you've got to suffer all the announcements. Um, you've got to suffer people barging past you all the time. Um, whereas I just want to get on and get to where I'm going. Okay, we've got 21k. Uh, yeah, indeed, Crispy. Well, you know, TV companies, films weren't being produced. Um, you know, everybody in, in the entertainment industry was struggling. You know, a lot of radio stations had the DJs uh, broadcasting from home. Because they couldn't go into the studios. So, yeah, you know, all of us that were sat at home wanting to be entertained couldn't. So I was here to... Well, I think entertain was the wrong word, but you know, I was here three times a day then as well. Yikes. I'm sure there was one day where I did four streams. I think it did actually happen. Maybe it's like a very early morning stream, then a lunchtime stream, then a like a late afternoon stream and a like a late evening stream or something. It was certainly three times a day, 
morning, lunchtime, evening. Yeah, it could be an early farming. Really enjoying the farming again. So my flight's taken a little bit of a hiatus at the moment. Um, because there's more people that uh, do the farming thing than do the flying thing. So I think um, flight will make a return. But probably in the next, uh, probably, probably in a couple of months. Right. So it's going to get me to do the slowing down thing soon, isn't it? Yeah, 270. Back to 300? Really? Can't be, surely. We're only 7k out. I'm just going to start slowing down. Uh, 2.30. I'm going to get that anyway. I feel as though I should be going a lot slower than this. One sixty, okay. There's a bridgey type thing. Greg. Oh, I need to do the brakes. Yeah, brakes. with the brakes I really don't like these brakes uh, I'm guessing we got a red No, don't stop all the way Okay, fine. Just stop all the way back here then. Oh, no. Some of the trains in the station, that's all that matters. It doesn't, need all, doesn't all need to be in the station. It's fine. It'll be grand. Yeah, I, you know, I just, you just put brakes on. I normally break about four miles out and just creep into the station slowly. It's like I don't like these type of brakes. I don't like vacuum brakes either. They're just weird. Great work so far. Select TGV01, the French Connection Part 2 from the Korean menu to continue the service to Marseille. Oh, God. Does that mean we've got to actually continue the service to Marseille? Um, yeah, that was... Okay. Yeah, okay. Yep. 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 That was... Okay. Yep. 
yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so I, I did well. Oh, Larwood would get 977 on this, wouldn't he? I got zero. <laughs> of course, Larwood's got 977. I'm surprised he hasn't got a thousand. Uh, right, LGV thing, what's it? So we may as well do the part two, wouldn't we? And then we can do something of a something. Because uh, we may as well finish the, the flipping journey. Guessing you're not going to tell you, Crispy. Um, okay, so the controls of the train from earlier. Okay, uh, passengers are on board then, I'm guessing. Okay, uh, release the brakies. All right, 74. Is that the next stop? Yeah, so I've just got to go flat out with another 74k. Okay. A lot of stations in the middle of nowhere as well. Oh yeah, we built this high-speed station thing. It's in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. So, I'm thinking it is this one train and this one route. Again, free. We like free. Free's good. Oh, okay. So it's not a, a destination station. It's a, like a transfer station. Destination station. I'm a poet. And I didn't know I could be. That went well, didn't it? Okay, that was a break in power then. Oh, we got 16 that peeps 69 kilometers then of flatty outness oh hang on we got 320 oh, oh I'm excited the speed is that the quickest in any train sim route or is there something is one of the um, like the Tokyo ones go quicker 320 isn't much quicker is it you know i know it's 20 but it's not you know if it'd been 400 i'd have been impressed but if these things are limited to 320 anyway oh i've done that i went for cordless lawnmower to a wired lawnmower and the first time i use it i ran over the cable It was cheaper to buy a new lawnmower than it was to buy a battery for the cordless one. Should just splice the cable rather than replace it. Cut the cable, 
cut a chocolate block, some electric tape, done. Yeah, tomorrow night back with some more farming in the in, on the farm in the, with doing the farming uh friday night we're pretty much on the border of doing breakfast um uh, so hopefully that's a thing uh saturday night i very much doubt we'll be doing trucking uh, because there isn't enough of us um so i'll do something um and then sunday lunchtime will be trains in world three instead of saturday lunchtime So yeah, maybe putting a permanent end to the Saturday lunchtime streams. Um, and maybe doing what I would do on a Saturday lunchtime on a Sunday lunchtime. Right, 51k to go to uh, the place. I, I thought the end, is it? And then Marseille is 69k. So, okay. So, we have got... Hang on, does that go via or... I'll uh, oh, pick up passengers. Okay, so we got to stop. Crispy. Yeah, so 47 and then 20k after that. And then we'll see if there's another quick scenario we can do after this one. So yeah, this would have been a four-line run then from one end to the other. That's why the four-line run is 90 minutes. See, there's a whole logic to that then. Definitely not the most exciting of routes, though. And it's not one I would, you know, come back to again and again. If there'd be more stations then yeah i'd go okay yeah I, I could do that you know station high speed dash for like 20k station high speed dash station i know it's based on an actual route but it does get a bit samey after a while Oh, hang on, I've turned them red. Don't do that. That's, oh, hang on, what's that one do? Cab light. Is that it? Wipers. Uh, it's not much in the way of interactive switches. Uh, 
acknowledgement, thing, thing, pantograph selection, pantograph tension. God, okay. Yeah, not a lot you can interact with in the cab. Thirty K to go. I guess that's me back down to 300 maybe. Oh, 270, okay. Slowing. More of the slowing. And then we're back to a three hundred again. Potentially, unless the dovetail's got that wrong. Which you never know. Yep, there we go. So you got the stop in 20k and then the final stop at Marseille about 20k after that. Uh, no, indeed, Crispy. Yeah, definitely a very uninspiring route. Some would say boring. I would agree with them. But free. for the follow welcome to the madness ok 
Okay, so you, speed limit changed to 300 from 300. How does that work? Or is it now going to reduce down? Two seventy. Okay. Well, I'd expect to slow down when the station's in five k. So I'll start bringing the speed back. Yeah. Right, 170 and then into the station. Can't say I wonder how slow I can get it just on the motors, but I haven't really got enough distance I don't think See a platform. Is there anything with these where you got to? It's a real struggle to get the brakes off gently because you end up doing that. And stopping while you're trying to release the brakes. I counted some of the trains on the platform. That'll do me. Alright, one more stop to go on this then. And then we should probably call it a night. Because it's not the most in inspiring of routes. Yeah, I've got an issue with the way the like the stations model quite well. The train, it's train, the cab's okay. Interior is a bit naff, but I suppose it's what they're working with as far as Train Sim, train sim Classics concerned. Um, it's just the line itself. From a, a playability point of view, it's just high speed for like an hour. It's not, not really, you're not really engaged with it. Come on, brakes. There we go. Right, brakes releasing. Bloody, I actually got points for that. Yikes. So 19k to go. Um, yeah, I've never had an issue with the, the, the graphics quality in this. Um, because sometimes the audio and certainly the roots can sort of compensate for that it's just I think this is just a boring route it's probably well, very well done but just just boring it's 
something, there's just not enough stations, which, yeah, based on an actual route, fine. But I wonder sometimes why they put it in. Uh, yeah, this is one of the free ones. Yeah, there's been no, not a lot of other trains coming the other way either. Okay, so we've got a 2.30. Yeah, you know, train sounds good. I like the audio. Wind noise is quite good. You know, it's modelled well. It's just that the route itself isn't that inspiring. I don't like the brakes on the train as well. But that's a me thing, not a modelling thing. It's not you can't just put the brakes on a little bit and leave them on. I wonder if I could change the... No. Oh, why have you put the emergency brakes on now? You, oh, it's because I changed the brake thing. Oops. Uh, no, I've already linked it. There you go. That one, indeed. Why should I manage to get out of the emergency brake thing without it stopping me completely? That's useful. Oh no, I'm, I'm still in a plus 254 points. That's a long tunnel though. Eighty. And why are you now saying emergency brake saying? I'm putting emergency brakes on. The brakes aren't on. The brakes are released. I oh, it because I wasn't doing 80. But... It, uh, oh, this is really stupid now. But the brakes are... I wasn't speeding. Yeah, but <sighs> fine. But it, here it says two thirty. Fine, I'll do eighty then. You want me to do eighty? I'll do eighty. Sod you. Stupid French, stupid. Right, I'm out of the TVM system now. Right, eight K to go. Marseille.
where the train now is not accelerating anymore. I've done something. Yeah, we're just we're just maintaining a speed now. What is going on? I've broken the train. Yeah, but it hasn't told me anything about switching power modes. But it's not... It's just going 109, that's it, flat out. No, 110. That's fine, we've only got 5k to go, it'll be alright. We'll end there anyway. Stupid train. It could be the whole switchy, modey thing. So we got the that one. No. I do. I'm in the wrong pantograph saying, ah, it's fine, it'll be alright. We're nearly there. <laughs> Stop clicking things, says the one that constantly clicks, clicks things. <laughs> well, there is that. Right, 3k. Apply the world's most stupid brakes now. Oh god, it's a ND thingy station thing. finally worked out that I can actually set the brake to whatever level I want. Oh look another train, there is one. Well done Ducktail, well done. But again, uh, free route, shouldn't really complain. Slowing down into Marseille. This is where I'll get a red now. That's a noise.
That'll do. Yeah. I, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely not the most awe-inspiring of routes. Uh, free, but yeah, not one I don't think I'll ever come back and do anything on again. I, I don't know if there's many people out there that would do multiple journeys on that. I, yeah, I, I don't know. There might be speed fans out there that just might want to go up and down really quickly uh, no I think it's because of the whole French thing where with the whole focus interactive thingy fantastic work the service is now complete Hang on, I got points for that. That can't be right. Blimey. Uh, there we go then. A uh, slightly shorter uh, stream this evening because I'm basically underwhelmed by that. Uh, and it feels like a Monday today, so I'm knackered. Um, normal service back uh, tomorrow night with some uh, farming. Uh, Friday night, yeah, uh, possibly some wreck fest. Uh, Saturday night, maybe some trucking. I doubt it very, very much. Uh, and then Sunday, lunchtime, uh, Train Sim World 3. Uh, and then back to normal uh, schedules uh, next week. Uh, where for the whole of June, pretty much, I think, potentially, we've, we're back to a normal streaming schedule. Um, so, yes, there we go. So, thanks to you lot in chat for keeping me company for the last uh, well, hour and 40 minutes. Uh, and to Hank Tank Boss and the nope, that's it. To Hank Tank Boss uh, for following earlier as well. There we go. Uh, I will be back uh, tomorrow night to do the farming thing. Until then, if you have been, thanks very much for watching. <laughs>